Hi guys, welcome along to another video. It's uh, Evie Bloke Sean here with you. Well, I'm sitting in the Atto 3. Let's just fire her up. <laughs> and um, yeah, what did I want to say? <clears throat> well, today, oh, that'd be nice. yeah, excuse nice. me there. Today, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, go over five things about the car um, that I really think you need to to perhaps think about if you want to buy one, if you're thinking of getting it, if you're thinking of uh, test driving one, or if you're already in the market for a BYD car. And um, a lot of it will be focused on the Atto 3, which is, of course, what I've got, as you know by now. <clears throat> but, of course, I've test driven the others, know a bit about the others, and know quite a bit about BYD now. So some of them are, are slight niggles, uh, I'll be honest. Some of them are... Um, complimentary things about the car as well no car is perfect and this uh what i'm about to say shouldn't be taken as just all negative things about the vehicle because that's not not the intention or the meaning of, of what i'm trying to head for here <clears throat> but it's good to give information um and keep you updated about things really so i've had this car about four months now um and number one on my list is is uh, the software updates um, as you probably know, BYD cars support software over the air updates. Um, and I've had one, <clears throat> which was probably around about the middle of January. So that's February, March, halfway through April. Well, so just over three months, I haven't seen a single update, um, on the car. And you might think to yourself, well, is that such a big thing? It, it, it probably isn't such a big thing, except for the fact that there's a lot of cars out there, um, that are having much more regular software updates. And the thing is, every time you software update the car, um, you're kind of gaining some improvements, generally speaking. Um, and there are improvements that are needed on the BYD cars, in my opinion. And I even put this down to the sill, as you, uh, as you probably know, I've recently um, uploaded the BYD seal video, uh, which is doing very well on the channel. And thank you for your support on that car. But, it also doesn't seem to have very good navigation and neither of them have very good navigation. And I've mentioned this before in other videos. Um, and everyone says, well, you're just going to tap into Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's, it's quite fine, really. You don't really need it. It's, it's not that essential. But it kind of is if you want to route to chargers and use the navigation system to do that. Or well, you should have that ability to be able to do that. Um, lots of cars do it now. Um, and, um, so part of a software update could involve updating the navigation system, lowering the sound of the low pedestrian warning sound, which is very, very loud. Um, I've been saying this for a while now. Um, it is quite intrusive really. And it's okay when you, when you're just picking up speed and you, and you drive off somewhere, that's fine. The problem comes when you're stuck in traffic and you've got that low sound all the time. The other day, the other day when I went to Birmingham, um, you know, there was a lot of low sound noise in the car uh, all the time because you're just going at low speeds and it's, it's quite intrusive. And that I think could be lowered. I've heard it's been lowered on the Dolphin, that, that sound. So I know it can be done, um, through software updates and things like that. So and you could do a multitude of things with software updates. At the end of the day, with electric cars, you have a motor and a battery. The rest of it's really about the software of the car. And that's why software is really, really important. Um, uh, in these vehicles and probably why uh, Volkswagen when they come out with the ID3 when the when that first came out I was looking at getting that car until I saw the problems with the software and I thought mm, I just don't know it's good to bring a car to market when you've really got that nailed, nailed in especially with an electric vehicle but anyway uh, I digress um, so as I say this has had one up one software update and uh, <clears throat> that's been it and of course, as I've uh, mentioned uh, a number of times, let me just bring it up actually, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so on here, let me just bring you into this. You have the, uh, the screen here, of course, but you have here the BYD store. Now, what that can do is that can bring in some very handy features um like uh what we're seeing here so you've got karaoke browser amazon music i don't use amazon music i just use spotify personally but it's there if you need it 
the browser is kind of limited, I find. And karaoke, well, probably won't bother with that. That's your fact. Let's download the karaoke, see what we get. I download it, see what see what that's all about. Um, but you get these. These are the things you're getting in here. But as I say, I've just had the one uh, update so far uh, on this car. So um, not that amazing, really. I, you know, not that incredibly brilliant. Um, so that's one thing that uh we'll come back to that in a minute that seems to still be downloading there so i'll come back to that in a minute yeah um the other thing is, is is something which i've gone on a lot in other videos and something which you have to think about depending on your use case for your car because this is very th th this affects a lot of things really because not everybody wants some hard road tripping tripping car that's just going to sort of you know go into a charger charge up bang off off you go again another 250 300 miles go in you know uh, uh charge up really fast back up you know you just need it for pottering around town going to going to work and back and it, it just you know you're doing 20 miles a day and you, you know you, you don't need excessive speeds uh, this is a 50 what i found out this is a 50 to 60 kilowatt hour uh, sorry 50 to 60 kilowatt charging speed car it's supposed to do 88 i've never ever seen it whether when we get into the middle of summer that will change i'll report back on that but what i've been seeing it for it's been warmer ish of late and i'm not seeing anything much higher um, i've got a charging video on the channel so go and have a look at that if you want to find out more about the charging speeds but even if it was charging at 88 for a small sized suv compact suv it would still be quite slow uh, really um, it's got a 60.4 kilowatt hour battery. So when you equate it all, this is a 45 minute to an hour charging car from say 20% to 80 as an example. And it should, this, you should really charge once a week to at least a hundred percent because it's, um, <clears throat> it's that type of car. So, uh, uh, let's just go over here. I can leave you on this side and, uh, we'll just see what happens when we install that, see what we get out of it. Hopefully you can see what's going on. There's a bit of glare on the screen. I'm afraid. Sorry about that sun shining through i'll do a great deal about that so let's install it then the karaoke app um so yeah it's it's one of those really um it it, it, it is what it is so it says there insert i accept okay you can sing along to a load of tunes i guess over there so but we've got that there anyway but what I was going to say about the uh, about this was that um, it has this BYD store. So therefore, things like YouTube, Prime, um, uh, Netflix, all of those sort of things, if you're going to be 45 minutes to an hour of charge, it would be quite handy to actually have uh, that there so you could actually sort of take advantage of that, really, um, while you're just waiting to charge, you know? You don't always go somewhere where... Um, you can necessarily guarantee, um, what can I say? You don't always go somewhere where you can guarantee, um, uh, you know, that you're going to have facilities and that, which you, which you can entertain yourself in other ways. Um, there's lots and lots of charges out there where it's just you and the charger, really, and maybe somewhere to get a hot drink if you're lucky. So, uh, yeah, so that's the sort of point I wanted to make on the, I've gone, got, gone on a bit long about that really, but, uh that's it on the software jar, software uh, updates but going back to what i was saying before about the the the, the charging speed um as i was saying before you know um even the byd seal charges 150 kilowatts uh which of course is is better but still not class leading for that type of vehicle i don't think um and yeah so it's it's something which you would think would be better but again if you're charging up overnight um if you're charging your car up overnight and you're parked up you know you you it's, it's on your driveway you know i really care about charging speed to be honest it'll just charge up and go so i'm probably being really overcritical on on that side of it really i just i'm going to speak at the end of this some of the areas where i'd like to see byd go byd are a huge company globally they're small here okay they're not big here yet um they really aren't um i mean i haven't seen a single atto in the town i live in yet 
um, they still got a long way to go. They'll get there, and they, they're doing reasonable price cars, and they're good quality. So things will things will definitely happen with them. But like I say, I'm going to mention some things at the end, which I think they need to really dial into. They've got to be different. They've got to stand out from the crowd. And I don't just mean with a extravagant interior like you've got in this car, but some some features I'm going to mention. Okay, so uh, number three is uh, the uh, a level of uh, equipment um, and the interiors and stuff. Now, level of, level of equipment, I have to praise BYD for, because there's not an awful lot of... What I've noticed is between all the different models they do, uh, if you get into a Dolphin, whether it's an Atto 3, whether it's a BYD seal, there's normally one or two trims, but there's very, very little difference between the two trims. It normally comes down to battery size or one or two other features. Um, they're not that major, by the way. They all come safety packed. Uh, it's an MCAP 5 rating on this car, and um, it uses that to it. To it, it, it really is a five star MCAP rated car. <laughs> Plenty of safety features on here. The interiors are well built, a, a really nice, nice interior uh, on all of the cars I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, the level of equipment is is really really good um going back to the screen about the going back to the screen about the software side of things i think it could be much more informative than it actually is it's actually really really good really really snap um you know you've got no problems with speed and all of that kind of stuff it's just there it just move it just doesn't glitch at all or anything like that it's just really really well well put together but it's very limited there's not enough information on here i want to know each and every trip I'm in the UK, so I want to have my miles per kilowatt. I don't want to know my past 50 miles um, as an average. Okay. I want to know each trip. I want to have a breakdown of the energy I've used of each trip, etc., etc. It all might sound quite nerdy stuff in a way, but I, I just feel this is, this is kind of important information. I'd like to see that in here uh, on this car, you know. Um, so, so, yeah, that's, 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 that, what, that's that thing. Um, then I want to talk number four, build quality. Build quality of the BYD is absolutely excellent. Um, I've got absolutely no problems with anything in here. The fit and finish, the, the, how it's put together, how, how solid it is, nothing shakes or moves or rattles. It's just really well. And I like that in the BYD. I, I like that in this car, you know, so that's, and, and I think it's pretty much from having sat in all of them now. And felt around and all that kind of thing brilliant the driving dynamics are, are very well set up on these cars as well um absolutely amazing on build quality and drive drivability they're superb thumbs up from me on that one and um you know really really good uh, and then number five um is i want to speak about the facelift there is a facelift coming um, of the BY Atto 3 and the reason I'm mentioning that in this now is because the main point of this video is for those who might be thinking about getting a BYD Atto 3 or Dolphin in the UK or um, uh, Seal is that if you're going to get an Atto 3 it may just be worth waiting a little bit till the summer when there's going to be a refresh so there's going to be more colors available there's going to be a stronger um, sun blind the sun on this and it's going to be a thicker netting a more solid solid netting here uh, probably probably uh, lets in a little bit less uh, run there's more colors and a change to the interior so at the moment you can just get this um this uh, blue red and sort of uh, creamy colored interior with this vegan leather there's going to be a black and blue version of this and i'll put some i'll put some pictures up on the video for you to see all the changes that are coming in and there's also going to be a cosmos black there's going to be more colors color ranges in the entertainment screen as well um and i don't know if there's anything else i can't remember if there's anything else yes yeah, just the black and blue interior big changes but if you didn't like this blue and cream for instance because that's really the, the only which is one of the areas of byd they just sort of kind of do the one kind of color in a lot of their cars or at least maybe sometimes two colors i think in the sill um but there's not a lot of variety on the on the colors so that's going to be changing this year with this particular atto 3 as well so um so yeah there's big changes afloat there 
So uh, in this five points, um, I wanted to mention that because, you know, if you're really in the market to get a, a BYD Atto 3 or any of the other BYD products, it's probably worth, well, in particular with the Atto 3, it was the first of the three vehicles out and they're already facelifting it, which is, which is amazing. One of the things I like with BYD, they do listen to feedback because they won't have the uh, build your dreams on the back either because um, in the UK, a lot of people have mentioned they don't want that on there on the cars the byd um wording you know build your dreams on the back it's just gonna have byd as a as a kind of um three letters basically on the back of the car as opposed to uh i don't get any footage of that i'll put that up in the video as well for you to see so it'll be different um so they do listen to customer feedback um and that's another reason for making this video because i some of the changes that i would like to see how the navigation works um low speed sound, uh, charging speed to a certain point, I'd like it to be quicker. Uh, those kinds of factors are things that they can actually change and do in this car. And so I, I, hope, they, I hope they do them. But in summary, this is a really fantastic car. I've had it for four months now. I've got no complaints about it in terms of the drivability of the car, the drive feel. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a small family compact suv and it drives really well it, it drives really really well and um, some of the sort of negative feedback about very very soft steering and no feedback through there you can actually put it on the sport settings in the uh, in the um adas system there and you can change you can actually change quite a bit of that and it's actually not too bad at all and what that <clears throat> what that does excuse me is uh, it just gives you a bit more feedback in the steering so if you like a, a sportier feel if you like you can do that in this in this car quite easily but um but anyway um yeah the efficiency brilliant on this car um as i've mentioned in other videos i get about 220 out of it on a on a 100 percent charge uh which is in winter brilliant you know uh, in summer i reckon you can probably get very close if not bang on the 260 um kind of thing so with with varied driving so i'm happy with that really so uh yeah no no problems at all but the one thing I would say to BYD more than anything else is when they're coming into this market of the UK market, they have to have something which stands out a bit, something that they give the give everybody that's a bit more than just the, 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 just the basics. And I know these come very well equipped. And I take my hat off to BYD for that. Uh, they just could do with sorting out their software a bit in terms of not because there's anything wrong with the software. It's just not enough information. You need more information. I need to know my trips. I need to have a history of all the trips I ever do, you know, uh, on here. I need to be able to, um, every road trip I do, every trip I do, I want to be able to record all that and see what kind of efficiency I'm getting. And, and that way, as a channel, um, is I can then feed back to you guys exactly what's going on it's very difficult for me to feed back exactly what i'm getting on a lot of stuff because everything's so vague you know you've got a, a graph in there i've shown you this in other videos where it shows your efficiency it's just got a graph that's like this up and down where's the breakdown of the figures you know i mean if i get into say uh, a tesla tesla is mega on information they let you know so much information from the minute you got into the vehicle to when you, if you have it on a three year lease, uh, to when you hand it back, whatever, it's all the information is there and you can see everything from, from, from every trip you've ever done and all the rest of it. And, that, and that's the kind of information you want. So the software is there. I have no doubt that BYD know what they're doing with the software. They just need to give us more information. Like I said to you, when I first got this car, I feel it's very much a care car set up for people who are maybe coming from petrol and diesel into an electric car and that's why, why everything's dialed down a little bit in lots of areas like for instance regenerative braking acceleration you don't get that uh instant instant push away on your acceleration it's a slow gradual build up and then it kicks in all these factors uh, regenerative braking the thing what i would say about regenerative braking is just give us the normal regenerative one pedal driving but give us a way to be able to adjust it I can in not say high and die vehicles and, and that type of thing we can just dial it in dial it out so if you're someone that doesn't <clears throat> doesn't like a lot of regenerative braking you can calm it off if you like the one pedal fill have the one pedal fill 
So um, that's the kind of areas I think where BYD need to move into now. They need to, they're moving into a more EV-focused world, an EV-focused country here now. Yes, we're not there yet by any stretch, but people are buying into EVs more now. And I think what people want is to have a car that um, that's just got that bit more, you know? Um, and, and that's what I would say is the next level. Nothing wrong with this car. It's a wonderful car, like I've said before. Lovely to drive. I, I'm going to have this for three years. I've got it under lease, and I'm going to enjoy all the, all the three years I've got it. I've got no issue with it in that respect. But like I say, but they'll get their BYD. As I say, they're new to the UK, and they're going to learn what the European market demand and wants. We have BMWs, and we have um, the Hyundais now. We have, you know, Volkswagens. We have all of these great legacy automakers making good cars or great cars in some respects, and um, they're coming into that market. And they need to be, when they come to put their stake in the ground to say we're here, BYD's here, which they've done. They've now just got to elevate it a little bit. That's what I would say. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Say so just these few points here that I've been mentioning. Um, and uh, yeah, so thanks very much. Coming up on the channel, we'll have some uh, some dolphin footage coming up soon. And um, yeah, a few other bits and pieces. So stick around. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm on my, on my journey to that magical 1,000 figure of uh, subscribers. So if you like this content and... You want me to you want to keep seeing the material please do subscribe and like and share it with your friends um especially if you know someone who's who's uh, interested in a byd put some put anything down in the comments down below if there's anything you want me to do on the car that you've not seen me do yet and you've seen maybe some other youtubers do it or, or other content creators or something that you or, or something you just have, have come to your mind about the car you want that you haven't heard me say speak about yet please let me know and and, and i'll try to answer any questions on that Anyway, thanks for your time, have a good day, and uh, take care, I'll see you on the next one.